Today, we're diving into the world of canaries. Are they good pets? What are the pros and cons of having them around? And most importantly, what are their needs? Are canaries good pets? Canaries are good pets for several reasons. They are known for their good nature, attractive plumage, and remarkable singing ability, which can bring a soothing, natural melody to your home. These small, vibrant birds are relatively low maintenance, making them suitable for those with busy lifestyles. However, they do need a clean environment, a balanced diet, and some mental stimulation. One of the pros of having a canary is their size. They are small birds, which means they don't require gigantic cages, saving you space. They rarely bite, even when handled, and come in many different forms with various beautiful feather mutations. However, there are also cons to consider. While they are low maintenance, they still enjoy love and attention. Leaving a canary alone for extended periods may not be ideal, as they do appreciate interaction and engagement. In terms of cost, canaries are generally affordable. They are usually cheaper than many other pet birds, and their maintenance cost is also relatively low. However, the cost can vary depending on factors such as the breed of the canary and the initial setup costs, including the cage and other necessary equipment. What toys are best for canaries? Canaries enjoy a variety of toys that stimulate their minds and provide physical exercise. Some popular choices include ladder bridges, which can be made of wood or plastic. These bridges help your high-energy canary get more exercise and improve their coordination and balance skills. Another favorite among canaries are toys with bells, mirrors, rings, and spinners. These toys provide mental stimulation and can keep your canary entertained for hours. Mirror balls and bird swings are also great options. If you're interested in DIY toys, consider using wooden spools with the thread removed as they make safe and fun playthings for birds of all sizes. Some owners use spools as foot toys that their birds can play with while out of their cages. Chewable wooden blocks are another great DIY option. They not only provide entertainment, but also help keep your canary's beak in good condition. It's a good idea to switch up the toys every month or so to keep your pet entertained and stimulated, but always ensure the safety of the toys and avoid any small parts that can be a choking hazard. How to play with a canary Playing with a canary can be a delightful experience, but it requires patience and understanding. Canaries are not typically hands-on pets, but they do enjoy interaction in their own unique ways. Some canaries, for instance, love having their wings gently rubbed and patted. This can be a great way to bond with your canary and make them feel comfortable around you. Bonding with a canary requires patience and consistency. Start by spending 5 to 10 minutes a day sitting near your canary and talking to them in a happy, animated voice. Avoid sudden movements to prevent startling them. As your canary becomes more comfortable around you, you can gradually increase the time spent together. One way to build trust with your canary is to hand feed them. Offering seeds from your hand can help them associate your presence with positive experiences. Regular interaction, such as gentle petting when they sing, can also strengthen your bond. What kind of cage is best for canaries? Choosing the right cage for a canary is crucial for their well-being. The ideal cage size for a canary is at least 3 feet, or about 91 centimeters, on all sides. This ensures the canary can fly around easily, promoting exercise and minimizing accidents. Veterinarians recommend avoiding round cages. Square or rectangular cages are better as they provide a safe corner for the canary whenever they need some quiet time. Rectangular cages also provide larger areas where they can easily stretch their wings and move around. One example of a good cage is the Prevu Pet Products Small Bird Flight Cage. It balances space with weight, providing plenty of room for your canary to exercise. Another guideline suggests that long, rectangular cages work best for canaries and should be no smaller than 30 by 60 centimeters for one bird. The depth of the canary cage, ideally, is at least twice the length of the wingspan. The material of the cage is also important. It should be sturdy and safe for the canary. Avoid cages with lead or zinc, as these can be toxic to birds. Stainless steel is a good option as it's durable and easy to clean. Remember, the best cage for a canary is one where it can fly freely and where you, as the owner, are also comfortable with it. What do canaries eat? Canaries primarily eat seeds, which form the bulk of their diet. There are a variety of seed mixes available, 
most of which provide two to five different types of seeds. However, it's recommended not to feed your canary solely with these mixtures for prolonged periods to avoid a lack of vitamins and nutrients. In addition to seeds, canaries also enjoy a variety of fruits and vegetables. Small pieces of green leafy vegetables such as parsley, carrot tops, kale, red leaf lettuce, or endive can be offered several times a week. Some other safe vegetables include leeks and okra, but they should be given in moderation due to their oxalate content, which can reduce nutrient absorption and lead to kidney stones. Plants from the nightshade family, like tomatoes and eggplants, are safe to eat, but other parts of the plant are toxic to canaries. As for water, canaries should always have access to fresh, clean water. The water should be changed daily to ensure it's clean and safe for them to drink. The exact amount of food and water a canary needs can vary based on their size, age, and activity level. So it's best to consult with a vet or a pet care guide for specific amounts. What are the different canary breeds? Canaries come in a variety of types, each with their unique characteristics. For instance, the Belgian Fancy Canary, an old continental breed, is known for its long neck and slender body, with compact wings and long, narrow tails. Their legs are slender and longer than many other types of canaries, giving them a distinctive appearance. The Border Canary, also known as the Common Canary, is arguably the most ubiquitous species. This tiny songbird is native to Europe, but has spread across many parts of the world over the centuries. It's currently one of the most common species found in pet stores. Their popularity stems from their good nature, attractive plumage, and remarkable singing ability. Do canaries need companionship? Canaries are interesting birds when it comes to companionship. While they are social birds that enjoy the company of their own kind in the wild, forming flocks and communicating through songs and calls, they are generally solitary when kept as pets. Unlike many birds, canaries often prefer to be alone and are unlikely to form close bonds with a second canary. They are primarily solitary birds, only coming together to mate, raise their young, and forage in small groups. However, some canaries may enjoy the company of other birds or their owners. It's important to observe your bird's behavior and adjust their living conditions accordingly. When it comes to housing multiple canaries, caution should be taken. Canaries can be more demanding than other birds when it comes to food and water dishes. Make sure their space is easily divided so that each bird has their area. Also, it's important to note that during the breeding season, it can be dangerous to keep two canaries in the same cage unless they are a true pair and both are in full breeding condition. Can canaries be trained to do tricks? Training a canary can be a rewarding experience, although it requires patience and consistency. While canaries are not typically known for performing tricks like parrots, they can be trained to interact with you in certain ways. For instance, with time and patience, you can train a canary to sit on your finger. This requires a calm and gentle approach, gradually getting the bird used to your presence and touch. Canaries are renowned for their singing abilities, and you can indeed influence their song repertoire. Young canaries learn their songs from adult tutor birds, and they can also pick up tunes from their environment. Playing recordings of canary songs to a young bird can help it learn those melodies. However, unlike parrots, canaries are not known to mimic human speech, they communicate through song rather than mimicking sounds. The best way to train a canary is to spend as much time as possible with them, talking to them, and making them feel comfortable around you. Always remember to respect the bird's comfort levels and never force interaction. Training should be a positive experience for both you and the bird. There we have it. We've covered a lot about canaries today. We hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about pets, don't forget to check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. We have a wide range of content covering various types of pets. Before you go, please hit that like button if you found this video useful. Your support helps us create more content like this. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future videos.